I'm Dave Hula with Renwood Farms here in Charles City, Virginia. In 2016 was the first year we incorporated the wide drop system in their program. And then we said, well, let's do a bunch of experiments. That particular year, in 2016, we had ample rainfall throughout the growing season. We picked up an average of 12 bushels with the wide drops there. And that was not because we were not putting enough nitrogen on the rest of it, it was because we were putting the right amount of nitrogen somewhere close to the plant that allowed it to be very efficient with it. I would challenge anybody out in the audience now that if you've never walked out into your cornfield early in the morning when it's still got a good dew on it, just walk out there. You're going to get wet. Just get over it because it's hot anyhow. So go out and get wet and look at the base of the plant. Most folks don't realize that the corn plant is just wicking moisture out of the atmosphere and then dropping it down its corn leaves onto the ground. And there's an area kind of about the size of a softball around that corn plant that's moist. And if you can put your fertilizer along the base of the plant there, that plant is creating a, a sink to where it can pull the nutrients into the ground. In 2017, a little bit different year. As if you've been farming as long as I have, you're gonna see a lot of good years and you're gonna see some challenging years. Where we incorporated the wide drops, we picked up an average of five bushels. So we do use air wide drops on all the irrigated acres because we know there's a benefit to it. We are able to finely tune our nitrogen management uh, with those. And then we also incorporate or use not only nitrogen with our wide drops, but we're also using magnesium nitrate. We also use potash. So with that, that system, we're allowed to apply more nutrients at different timings throughout the growing crop. Having evaluated 2016 and 2017 years with the incorporation of wide drops. Wide drops is going to be a continuing part of Renwood's farming practices, particularly in corn production. As you know, you know, you just try to strive to have better yields and you know, if we can save a dollar here or there, be more efficient in application, pick up some bushels, that's one of the goals here at Renwood.